Hey loves, it's Marimat here and I'm back with another video as you all know by the title Feminine Hygiene Tips for the Girl Feminine Hygiene Tips for the Cookie, whichever one you guys like to call it Okay, that has really helped me how to keep down there clean, stay fresh, smell free or If you're a lady or a woman who likes to escape such type of videos, girl Before I start this video I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm talking based on experience, what I've done for myself and based on research as well. And also, I'm not really good at English, so <laughs> you guys should pardon me when I do any mistake. Please, 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 no one should come for me in the comment section. I'm not good at English, I know that. Just so you know, every woman has their own smell down there. As far as it doesn't smell fishy or any type of weird smell that will gas you off, then it means you're doing something good, okay? And let's talk about ingrowns and how I got rid of mine. I used to deal with an ingrown for my whole life till I found a solution and that is waxing. And ever since then, ingrown hair, never heard of her. So if you feel like you are shaving and uh, you're not seeing any improvement in your hyperpigmentation, itchiness, and also ingrown, I think you should switch to waxing and see what happens, okay? I used to shave and uh, whenever i shave two days after shaving i kind of like have this itchiness down there and not only down there also my armpits as well because i shave there as well and that place itch very badly so i i did my research and then switched to waxing and ever since then ingrown itchiness and also my hyperpigmentation seeing a very great improvement in my hyperpigmentation down there and also in my armpit and also wearing tight jeans or tight underwear that will kind of like prevent the hair from growing can also cause an ingrown i know waxing is painful but if you like if you do it continuously you'll get used to it and by getting rid of an ingrown you need to keep down there dry too much moist can tend to a smell at first if you ask me i'm gonna tell you i'm the most cleanest woman on this earth because i wash down there a lot and every time i do that i do something wrong if you're a muslim woman or a muslim you know what i'm talking about we wash down there a lot you know after washing down there right there's a leftover water at the place and immediately you put on your underwear or your pants that water get in contact with the underwear a few hours later you go to take off the underwear and that smell you can't stand so to prevent that you need to use a tissue or any clean wipe to get off the excess water before you put on your underwear because moisture gives bacteria a chance to grow and when that happens it can cause a lot of problems like vagina odor yeast infection and many more and you don't want that right let down the breath okay let the place breathe my air home home my air from my air for home you know what i'm saying like you've been in underwear for the whole day and the time that you're about to sleep you know you're wearing underwear or pants ah don't do that go naked because nobody's watching you you are at your room nobody's watching you so make sure to go naked and let down their breath and also wear cotton pants i know there are lots of fancy pants out there but do make sure to get the one that says 100 percent cotton okay and you can go ahead to have any pants that you like but make sure where the bg lines is made of cotton how do you guys clean down there like cleaning down there is very 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 important you know what god has made the place in such a way that it clean itself so it does not need all those smelling soaps or insecting stuff there to clean it it's not necessary all you need to clean down there is water and not using any smelling soap or insecting stuff there to clean the place the only place that need extra cleaning is the um is the old is that how it's called literally where the hair grew from is the place that need extra cleaning but going in there like in there with soaps and stuff you are changing your ph balance and that can cause an infection so always make sure you wax or shave if necessary so you don't sweat or attract moisture that can cause bacteria and by doing so you need to clean front to back okay not back to front okay what i mean by front to back is where the vg is and where you do your number two you shouldn't clean the number two to the vg area always clean the vg area to the number two because if you're cleaning the number two to the vg area oh my goodness like you're bringing death, a fee, you're bringing fee to the VG and that can cause a lot of problems. So do make sure to avoid that and always clean front to back. 
not back to front and so do i bring to you guys my last but not the least tips of this video drink a lot of water and take your probiotics like drink a lot of water because you are flushing all the dead from the body and by doing so trust me that vg is cleaning hmm? yeah drink a lot of water at least five or six a day i know a lot of people don't like drinking water but please find a way to drink it okay you can add lime or something it's gonna like change the taste for you and drink a lot of water probiotics you can get it from food and also there is this daily capsules that um a lot of people are taking but i haven't tried that yet maybe yet to try and if i do i'm gonna let you guys know okay yeah so this brings me to the end of the video wait i forgot this one mm. If your partner okay if your partner is not participating in a good hygiene I'm sorry for you yes I'm sorry for you you might not know maybe you're doing everything right but still now you're having an infection it might be your partner okay so do make sure to talk to them know your partner well mm? know your partner well and also tell them to learn or teach them because you might not know where all those infections are coming from because you're doing everything right. You know what I'm talking about. But yes, still, nah, nah, nah. you're having problem down there. Know who your partner is. Yeah, so that brings me to the end of this video. I'm so happy I'm able to film a video today. I've been MIA for a very long time. I know I'm having problem with my device and... Uh, I just deleted some stuff so I can free up some space and film this video. I have two videos coming up. I don't know whichever one will be first, but we are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have watched this video to this far and you haven't subscribed or like, oh, why? Why? Like, literally, why? And then please subscribe and like, okay? And do make sure to share as well. I've realized while I was away, I've gotten some new subscribers. Hey guys. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. If I return a subscriber, hey love. You know how we do. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm not going to promise to be consistent or say anything about consistency. But I'll try to free up more space and then film a little video because I don't want to go away for like a month and then come back to film one video my channel is still there and it's still there for me i'm just waiting for my device to come so i can hit you guys with back to back content but now my device is really dealing with me i can't really like meet me from my opinion to so what can i say i can't put my mind on it because it might disappoint me and i don't want that so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye